welcome to my channel my name is Kim over here at Kim's a little of a lot today I am at my boyfriend's well it's now nighttime um, and whatnot and I am participating in a collab and it is called in the domestic goddesses collab featuring 11 channels including myself and what we decided to do is tackle a mess whatever mess it may be it may be my mess involves lots of decluttering. First, um, some gutting, gutting out. I apologize, my camera's a little wonky at the moment. But I am in my cleaning attire, and it is July 1st, so if you happen to hear some boomers in the background, it's the fireworks going off. But real quick, the channels participating in this collab is myself, Kim's a little of a lot, um, Alice Lynn, I love being a Grammy, Alma Tyser, Barbara's Beauty Bag, Bonnie's Bargains, Connie from Up North, Jen's Hangout, Bootsy on the Beat, a Lori Latimer, Susan's Just Making It, and Jessica over at Just Jessica. And what we did is we put our cleaning caps on and just got down to cleaning. Basically what I did is, like I said, gutted everything out. Um... Well, I'm going to be cutting everything out and uh, cleaning it, showing you how what clean steps I use. There are very few steps, nothing crazy. But the fun part is there will be cats involved, and I apologize about that. They're going to try and be the star of the show here and there, so I just hope everyone's prepared about that because I feel like titling my, vid my video, Cleaning with Cats. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we are going to get into this. And yeah so everybody stick around watch me clean talk to you soon wait for it okay so here is our little quick look at what I'm going to be tackling today um, I stay at my boyfriend's a lot and I am at his place and he has black furniture which we know black attracts everything from cat hair say hi Smokey <laughs> um, to you name it this was my um, well still is that's not junk it's just clutter and you know when you're in a rush and you're putting things out of reach whether it was because of cats or you know <clears throat> because of um, just moving things out of the way or it was neat at one point and then the cats sometime would try and climb so I tried blocking them but yeah, so we are going to tackle this. This is a cubby down here all by itself. And then this is cubby number two. So we're going to tackle all that. And then, of course, up above is messy as well. We're going to tackle that. And the star of our show who likes watching me clean is right there. Say hi, Chewy. Say hi, Choo Choo. All right, so we are going to get into this, and I will be back shortly. Stick around. Okay, guys, I am back, and today we are tackling this mess right here. I gave everybody a sneak peek um, before doing the introductions to everybody participating in this collab. And yes, so we are going to be focusing here on cubby number one, here on cubby number two. You can see my face now, but you're barely going to see me. We're focusing on the cleaning. Okay, and then of course, we're going to work on the top. Now, my trick is always start at your top and work your way down to the bottom. Otherwise, if you start off at the bottom, work your way up, as you're cleaning, everything from up here is going to trickle back down there, and you're going to do like twice the work, double the work. So, always start from the top, work your way down. That's my go-to tip. <laughs> um, also, there's not that much needed. I just have some duster wipes, some more duster wipes, an actual handheld duster. Actually, this one can come off. We're going to put a new one on. <clears throat> and I also... I know these are meant to use for a mop, 
but I use them separately for dusting. They work wonders. Okay, so that is everything that is needed. On to step number two, gut everything. Just take it all on out. So I am pushing things aside. This we do not need. And as you see, I can now get onto the floor. And the only thing is with me and cleaning, dust kicks up and I start sneezing. So if I sneeze, I apologize. But yeah, these are my little measly weights that I use. So we can put those aside. These are some pins. This was, like I said, it's all clutter. Got a pair of sneakers. Believe it or not, one of those venti picnic sandwich things that I've never used. So the goal is to just gut it all. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to rip everything out. As you can see, these are things that I've never used. Look, we have a hand sanitizing wand. I feel like I'm showing products. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And then, of course, you know, things fall behind. So you got to dig those out as well. If you see a cat move around every now and then, yeah. They're here. They just haven't um, bothered us yet. Now, this is pretty easy because this is how I usually store everything in one of these bags. It's easier. We're going to move that aside for now. Oh, I've been looking for you. See? You find things that you've been trying to find. Look for. See, I'm already starting to get the sniffles. <laughs> okay. More stuff. What's up, tiny girl? What am I doing, tiny? My cat's, um, she might come into the limelight any moment now. And as you can see, all the bottom is cleaned out, but some of the stuff got pushed back because there's no backing. So all this has to come out as well. Hey, Tiny. So let's just get this on out. We are almost there. If anybody comes upstairs, they're gonna have a heart attack at the moment. <laughs> it's amazing how much stuff can pile up. Are you checking it out? Oh, of course you are, because it's an empty space. Nobody wants to see that. Come here, honey. Come on. As I said, cleaning with cats. Here we go. Come here, Tiny. You want to say hi to everybody? Say, this is my kitty, Tiny. Say hi, Tiny. Okay. Go over there. Okay? Be good, girl. Good girl. All right. So, now what I do is I take this guy and this guy. Definitely got the sniffles. No sniffles. This is always fun trying to put on. It does work. Just a little trick here and there. Okay, so I got my little duster. <clears throat> and I just dust a tiny bit in the beginning so I don't kick everything up. I know I said I work from the top and work the way down. But I will be right back. I'm going to gut all this out and I'm going to take the stuff off the top and then we'll be on to the next step. Right, tiny girl? What are you doing? Okay, I'll be back. I had to jump back in real quick because, uh, yeah, as I was taking things out and guttering uh, this part, all my Cricut supplies, my pens opened up all over the place came tumbling down from the back. So I'm gonna clean up this mess and I will be back when it's time to actually clean clean. Ay ay ay. I swear Smokey. Cleaning with cats, I tell ya. <laughs> okay, you play with that. Real quick, give this a once over. This is just going to pick up the remaining, like so. Okay, 
Next we have, after this, we don't need this today because it hasn't it wasn't a heavy duty dusting, so that's good. Because I do keep up with it. And the fact that there's so much clutter, not a lot of dust could form. <laughs> if anything, it's on my stuff that needs to go back. Um, you're not a stand-in, buddy. Smoky. Alright, so what I'm going to do is instead of using the gray bags, I am going to use something different. I have found these at the Dollar Tree. Same concept, they're just a checkered plat, um, buffalo check. And we're going to use these as my pop-up storage. These were great. I think at the time when I got these, the Dollar 25 tree was still the Dollar Tree. So these were really only a dollar at the time. And these are cute. They're just little mesh pops. Pops right up. And then what I do... <clears throat> Just put you in on the bottom. I'll take the other one. I'll put this on top as well. I just realized this comes with a backing. Hold on. The other one didn't have that. That makes sense. All right, look at that. You get a little cardboard backing, too. I was wondering why it was folding so easily. <laughs> so there. Really holds it down now. These are cute. They'll, they'll hold a lot. Now, the thing is, they're too big to put side by side. Actually, no, they're not. So this is a small size. So I'll put them just like that, and then we're going to put our products back in. I will be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back for like two seconds real quick before I even start putting the stuff back in. I want to show you everything that I ripped out. And let me tell you, it is a lot. It's amazing what these cubbies can actually hold. So let me flip you real quick. Look at the mess that I created. They say somehow sometimes things get messy before they get clean. There you go. All right, so I'm going to start putting this together, and I will be back shortly. Okay, and I'm back. All right, so as you see here, I have a separate bin for my materials, Cricut supplies, gadgets, because I do have Cricut machines. I just barely use it, but I have my container that fell apart on me which just fell apart on me again. It is one of those days. Oh, let's see if I can fix you real quick. Mm -hmm. Quick fix. Okay, so without falling apart on me, <clears throat> these I had gotten, I think at a Walmart or something. They are good storage bins because you just literally lay them on top of each other. Ginger, watch out, baby. Come on. Got lots of cats up here. They're all curious to see what I'm doing at the moment. But as you see, it just snaps into place. It's got a nice little handle. So we're just going to take this, and this sits in here. Out of the way of kitty cats. Well, you want your second of fame? Say hi, Ginger. Say everybody remember me. You voted for me. Okay, here you go. Good boy. Okay, so I have a bunch of Cricut supplies. Tons of pens. Got the Cricut tools. They're all over the place at the moment. But we're going to put this back in like so. It's good to organize like this, you know, because you've... I don't know, anybody out there also gets like me where you feel a sense of accomplishment when you're done cleaning? Because I know I do. Doesn't last long, <laughs> but you do feel a sense of accomplishment. Okay, this is more Cricut stuff. Tons of Cricut materials. I'll put you all in. 
you can actually stand up. Okay. I knew this was not going to work out well with kitties. Okay. Guys, got to behave. And this is more cricket stuff. That's stuff here. Right? So I'm just going to organize my stuff and I will be back shortly. Stick around. Not wrapping up yet. Another tip. The bag of cleaning stuff that I had turns into my garbage bag because there's lots of stuff in here that I no longer need or have forgotten about and has expired. So we have our garbage bag. And how's everyone liking this vlog so far? Cleaning with cats is fun but sometimes not fun <laughs> so I apologize about that but yes like these batteries I know they're way old so they go in the garbage but yes tons of more Cricut supplies tons more I'll be back okay and I'm back let me show you what I've accomplished so far it's taken me about a half an hour but I've been sifting and organizing. Um, here's some of my books. We have my Cricut supplies back here, out of harm's way, meaning AKA cats. This is just a bag with a bunch of empty wallets and some cases and stuff. Here I have repurposed my little tin here. I am still putting stuff away just want to give everybody a quick heads up. And as we move down back here, I put all the supplies that have not really been used, like, you know, the tape and the sanitizer and stuff. And then way back here, you can see these bottles. These are my Grove bottles, everything from dish cleaner to hand soap to lotion. Um, I think I met um, method uh, cleaners in there as well. And then we zoom back out. I have here my, um, it looks like a wicker basket, but it's plastic. Um, it's just got my odds and ends. Like I bought another pop-up hamper to be used any day. An extra shopping bag, the bento bag, the weights went back, things like that. And then I have my books and some paperwork piled up over here. As you see over here, working on a lot of junk. This is all for garbage. And then so far, this does not need to be in the cubby. Neither does this bag or my chopper. So those are closet items. And I will be back with another update. Stay tuned. And I'm popping back in again real quickly. Um, sometimes as we clean, we come across things that we completely forgot we had. This would come real handy right about now. I can use this for my channel name. I had received this in, oh, I think it was a confetti collection box um, not too long ago before, um, you know, they stopped um, their subscription boxes. I, I can't get this out. Now, let's see. Do you work? Okay, there's probably no batteries in it. But, yeah, so we got my letters in there. Yeah. Keep your eye out for that. We'll probably be seeing this down the line. And I'm back. Okay, we are finished. Here's the above. I'm going to reach over. I got my. It's still in the box. Smokey, I think he got tired cleaning with me, didn't you, Boo? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you see, as I move on down, I actually have room to spare. So it's now organized my clutter. It is still considered clutter on my part, but this is clutter that is used very frequently. So all down here, I had to move my slippers over here. I hide them because the cats, they like fuzzy slippers. So they stay away from this area if there's stuff here. And I apologize. <laughs> Today is July 1st and there are fireworks going off. Fourth of July weekend. As you can see, 
I found another bag under there, so that is going to go in the closet. Here is all my garbage, so this is all going to get thrown out. And those were my cleaning supplies. Once again, I only needed one little duster. And um, to make basically dust, you know, because of cat hair building up and just dust in general. Um, in between blogging, I was having sneezing attacks. So, yeah. And as you can see, I'm going to pan you around. Sorry for looking at the floor, but I do not want to blind you guys with the ring light. And as we scoot on over, this was the area that you guys saw before that was completely piled high with stuff. So, yes. This is a bin. I'm probably going to put cat toys in here. I'm not sure. But speaking of cat, say hi, Ginger. <laughs> so the kitties, cleaning with kitties. What would you think, guys? Any tips, tricks? Did you guys like the idea of, you know, always start working from the top, work your way down to the bottom? And as I pan you back over, what do you think? Did I accomplish much? I'll pan you out. So all this, and this is just one area. So now I'm in the cleaning mood. I am definitely going to focus on another area. And I think the next one I'm gonna tackle is right over here. That is mainly bags and just shoes and more clutter. So I'm gonna eat dinner and I'm gonna work on that. But another thing I might um, clean up some is these guys. <laughs> they need a touch up. All right, guys, I hope you had fun enjoying uh, my little tips and tricks and helping me organize a little bit. What do you guys think of that wolf? I love that wolf. Okay, everybody, stay safe, be well, have a wonderful holiday. Actually, um, the holiday will be over, so I hope everybody had a great holiday by the time you see this. And yeah, on that note, stay safe, be well, and I will see you guys all next time in my video. Bye for now.